click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about the design procedure of bush pin type coupling, which is also a kind of flexible coupling. Today, let us solve a numerical based on the same aspect. So friends, you can see the numerical statement on the screen, which says, Design is suitable coupling to transmit 10 kW at 960 RPM. The only things we have been given are driven end, which is centrifugal pump, and driving end is some prime mover. Prime mover can be some motor, it can be an engine also. So we have to select appropriate prime mover and appropriate coupling. Now, if you see this properly, they have nowhere mentioned that select a bush pin type of coupling or the flexible coupling. So you have to go through the details and then you have to analyze it properly further. So let us quickly write down what we have. A power has been given is 10 kilowatt. The RPM value given is 960. So apart from that, the only two conditions which are important are the centrifugal pump and the prime mover. So based on each of them, we have to select the coupling. The very first thing that we are going to find out is the torque. We are very well known about this formula. So it gives us as we move further, we get so upon solving, we'll get the value. And of course, Newton millimeter. Newton millimeter. So throughout this numerical, the talk that to be transmitted is going to be the same value. The next thing which is very important is the selection of prime mover. Like I guys, I said, prime mover can be anything. It can be an engine, it can be an electrical motor or any other source that can drive a given output shaft. So based on let me write it given power ratings and application let me highlight them we have to select a proper mover so we can refer to the phd data book An electrical motor is the most suitable application for this because the load which is actually given is not that big and the RPM expected are not also very large and that's why an electric motor is suitable for this. As prime mover. The next thing is the selection of coupling which is very important aspect. Again from PSG data book based on the given data or based on the given aspects we know that the prime mover is electric motor and the mover is going to be or the driven end is going to be centrifugal pump for centrifugal pump a slight misalignment in the shafts is allowed generally. Let us select flexible coupling. Of bush pin type. So here we come to know that the problem is going to be based on the bush pin type coupling. Here before we had no clue that this particular thing is going to be like this. So based on the given data, based on the given parameters, requirement, prime movers and the data book, of course the data inside the data book, we can select a proper prime mover and the proper coupling. So the coupling selected so far is the flexible coupling which is bush pin type coupling. The very next thing is your material selection. Now metal we are going to select here in three different categories. Metal for keys, shafts and the bolts. Then metal for hub or flange. And last thing is the metal for bush. So let 
C30 be the material used for shaft keys and bolts where FOS can be taken as 4 and therefore as we know sigma y is 300 newton per millimeter square for this particular thing we can say sigma t of course the allowable value is 75 newton per millimeter square sigma c can be increased to 1.4 times this value 40 percent value mix it out 105 newton per millimeter square and tau allowable will become 37.5 newton per millimeter square next thing is flange and hub so generally we select hubs and uh, flanges which are made up of the castings let gci be the material gci 25 be the material with fos again a standard selection 5 and therefore the value directly we get sigma y is somewhere equal to 250 newton per millimeter square and therefore sigma t is equal to with this factor of safety 50 newton per millimeter square and sigma or the tau value allowable becomes 25 newton per millimeter square the last thing is bush so we know that the bush are generally made up of the uh, smooth material or the plastic material which is like a rubber so let us select a rubber bush now there are two important uh, benefits of this the very first benefit is shock absorbing or shock absorption and the next thing we have is the proper alignment of course due to the material properties so let this one component associated is called bearing pressure is equal to 2 newton per millimeter square for this particular kind of material which is rubber name it bearing pressure because we know that the kind of material will be crushed out it will not be sheared off but it will be crushed out because of the plasticity of that material so we'll consider the bearing pressure so with this material selection let us go for the selection of a standard coupling a standard coupling again we can refer to phd data book 7.108 7.107 where the standard rigid and standard flexible couplings are given with their values so from phd 7.108 based on the given data of course we have to find out the kilowatt rating first which is given with this particular formula formula is available on the page you can by heart also is the kilowatt power into the service factor into 100 divided by rpm of the applications the applications we have is only one which is the centrifugal pump let us take the service factor to be 50 percent so that makes it 1.5 and therefore kilowatt becomes 10 into 1.5 into 100 divided by 960 the rating value comes out to be somewhere around 1.5625 so based on this rating we are going to select the actual coupling dimensions or the parameters therefore if you refer to the phd data book there is the coupling number 4 that is suitable for this particular kilowatt rating With its some dimensions now there are many designations for these dimensions we can use but we can name them differently also so let us use alphabetical order for those dimensions let us go one by one the first one is of course the dimension of shaft or diameter of shaft let's call it a value that comes out to be 45 millimeter for the given case now in this case we have not been given any particular dimension for diameter we can go for this standard selection directly then comes the outer diameter of the flange i'll call it od of flange let us call it b it comes out somewhere around 32 132 millimeter the third component is going to be the outer diameter of hub Let's call it component number C. 
and that comes out to be 55 millimeter the next one is nothing but length of hub let's call it parameter d it comes out to be 40 millimeter the next parameter is the length of flange let's call it parameter number e which comes out to be 15 millimeter and the last one is the protected length of the flange which is in our case 15 millimeter let me quickly make a correction where the length of flange is just not 15 millimeter it's twice that so it makes it 30 millimeter the seventh parameter is the pcd of the bolt let's call this parameter as f let's call this parameter as g 90 millimeter next parameter is the number of bolts small n now for the dimension of the shaft 45 millimeter which is smaller than 100 mm we can see number of bolts of four the next ninth dimension let us select is bolt diameter let's say 12 millimeter the 10th parameter is the bush diameter which in our case is 25 millimeter the 11th one and of course the la last one is the clearance between two flanges let's say is 4 millimeter so with this particular selection of the uh, coupling let us go ahead with a provision of the safety procedure check so we'll see that whether the selected flange selected coupling and all other parameters are going to be safe or not in this case so this was from my side in this video in the next session we will see whether the parameters are going to be safe or not thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda thank you